Hey folks, Hacksaw Duggan here, and I can't believe how well our YouTube channel is doing. Showing you the inside of the house all dressed up for Christmas. So I'm out here uh, clearing some brush. And down by the pond, the Deborah came out and said, hey, why don't we show the folks the outside of the house? So uh, as you can see, the outside is the house back there. Uh, we live on a dirt road, which is kind of cool. We can see all the deer, uh, deer trails and stuff coming through here, deer sign. So, uh, Devin, let me you gotta take the camera. You go ahead and drive the golf cart. Here's our golf cart, folks. Yeah, South Carolina. That's kind of a, a necessity out here in the country. We, we spend a lot of time here in the good little old golf cart driving around. Let me jump in with you, honey. Watch this axe. It's really sharp, this axe. All right. Well, there's the property. There's the house. Here's the pond. I don't see any ducks today. It's kind of a cold, br brusque, brus brisk, yeah, breezy, breezy day here in South Carolina. But uh, let's head towards the house, honey. And oh, there it glows, I guess. And we've got these four oak trees. There's one, two, three, four. A little slower, sweetie. And they are, they're over 160 years old. Celia and I, my daughter, we measured these oak trees, and there, of course, is Old Glory flapping in the wind, man. They gotta have Old Glory in front of my home, Shanton, USA. We got deers, turkeys, all kinds of stuff. Here's our gate. We had to get an automatic gate, you know, living out in the country, you gotta have a gate, but after a few big rainstorms, and having to get out of the car and, and open the gate, uh, we had to get the automatic gate opener. But tell you the truth, it's uh, kind of cool, you know. It's like Batman coming home sometimes, you know, Arthur. <laughs> but uh, yeah, and uh, we open it up. Beautiful. Off we go into the house. Pull down here by the pond, sweetie. Here's there's our oak trees. I love these oak trees. There's two of the four. They're looking the other way. Old glory. And then down here, oh, we got some ducks in the pond down here. And these other two, these are the other two oak trees. They're over 160 years old. Unbelievable. And of course, coming back to the home, here's the house. We got to put on a two-car garage a few years ago with uh, adding all the stuff. Nice view of the house. So we're heading back towards the chicken pen. <laughs> yeah, here's where the ducks, uh, they ducks, they come up through here every morning. They come up from the pond, come up to get their, their breakfast, I guess. This is our deer feeder. We've got the deer feeder. We take out back sometimes and we feed the deer during the winter time. Give them a healthy hand. But there's the chicken coop. Uh, I put this together on my own without help from Big Al, so <laughs> here we go. We're going to go in and, and check out the coop. Hey guys, we're here at the chicken pen. And I guess all together we have how many chickens, honey? Thirteen. Thirteen chickens, so... Two roosters. Two roosters. And this is my own little design here. we got these little doors. You can open up to get to the eggs without having to go into the chicken pen. Oh, and here are some eggs. All right, got three in this uh, box. And the green ones, I guess you can tell by a chicken. Ears, legs. From their legs, what color their eggs are gonna be. So uh, a green egg. So I know everybody when they were a kid, if they heard green eggs and ham, didn't know what that was talking about. Oh, just one egg here, very cool. It is kind of neat, you know, I always have fresh eggs. With that many chickens, we have too many eggs, so all our friends get their eggs, too. Let's see how many we got here. It's been a while since we opened this one. I usually get them from the inside. I get them from the inside. But while I'm out Walk here, I want to show you folks my friend John. What's John's buddy's name? John and Chris. Yeah, and uh, Chris, they get a lot of work here on the chicken pen, but these are uh, uh, removable slats you can pull out so during the summer 
We pulled these three slats out and the chickens uh, have a little more air. Of course, we have water down here with a hose. But come on in and check out the chicken pen. You know, we're kind of a beginner with chickens, so I know a lot of folks are going to say, what in the world are they doing? They don't know what they're doing. We don't know what we're doing. We're having fun doing it. Because look over here, this is how we started. Deborah's dad made this little tiny chicken pen for us. We only had a couple chickens, and this is where I put the automatic chicken door opener. At about 7 in the morning, the chicken door opener, boom, it opens up. And then the chickens, they come out and they roam around and they have a good time. And then at night they all go in and the door will close and keep out the predators. Because we had a lot of trouble with predators for a while. Uh, I used to joke it's, it's Fat Fox Lane or a fly through diner for the hawks. But here Stretch the Rooster, he takes real good care of the hens. This thing I can't tell who's who, but that's Casper. Catchy name there, right? Casper and a white, white chicken. But come on in. Of course, it's got to be all secure because even snakes will eat chickens and release their eggs. So you got to be real secure. Uh, uh, raccoons are bad. This is the chicken coop. Nothing super duper. Like I said, we're beginners at chicken stuff. So we're learning as we go. Up oh, here's some more eggs. So two more eggs in this coop. And that's usually the one I can open from outside. No, nobody in here. Nobody, nobody. Two, four, six, six, eight, seven, eight, two more. All right. This is a little chicken coop design I came up with. My buddy John did a good job on that. These are just uh, barrels from uh, Tractor Supply. Couple more hay, it's a good haul, I tell you, honey, we got a good haul of eggs. Check this out. Green eggs, what are the other ones, blue? Green, blue, brown, and white. Well, that's all, that's well over a dozen eggs. But this is our chicken coop. Uh, and oh, oh. and this, this is kind of neat because it, you know, it gets freezing temperatures here in South Carolina. So this is a warmer, so. A water warmer. Water warmer, when they gets a certain temperature, that way the uh, the water won't freeze. So they'll always have fresh water, the long-term feeders. And of course, we, we, we can divide the two chicken coops if we want. So we can just slide something in between there and that divides the chicken coop. Heat lamps all through here. So uh, yeah, kind of neat, we enjoy it. Hope you guys enjoyed the chicken coop. I know, let's go look at the beehive. So we're heading back here, and this is a uh, free flow beehive. I've never had bees before. Oh, thank you for going slow, honey. <laughs> but that's a, uh, we're coming up to the free flow beehive. There it is. And this is something kind of neat. Uh, here, go ahead and I'll film it from here. The, um, like I said, I never had a beehive before, and this is something people say all you have to do is put the jars in, and they, the honey will run into the jars. It's called a free, a free flow beehive. So I'll be looking for help on this in the spring because you can't introduce bees into a new hive unless it's uh, springtime. So in spring we're going to be having uh, some bees go along with the chickens and ducks, dogs and cats and everything else we'll have. Deborah will be happy because she loves uh, uh, honey so it'll be Hacksaw's Honey. Check it out tough guy. Enjoy the YouTube channel. Ho!